everybody. Happy Friday night. Um, it's a prep night. I have a busy weekend. I have um, two get-togethers with friends, and I'm going to work on a double recipe. It's, um, well, it's going to be another cheese spread. I guess that's my mood right now, but it's going to be a strawberry chipotle cheese spread. And I'm using the same cheese, the um, Neufchatel cheese. I love this shit. But anyhow, it's very simple. We're gonna, it's a double recipe. So for each recipe, it's two boxes, but we're using four right now. Um, four boxes of Neufchatel cheese. We're gonna use almost a whole bottle of Parmesan. A seven ounce can of chipotle peppers whole. We're gonna use a 18 ounce to taste, but an 18 ounce bottle of strawberry preserves. Not jam, preserves. Preserves are thicker and more dense, less sweet, less sugar, less corn syrup. Uh, we're gonna use a little bit of garlic salt, and I have two bundles of green onions. I think I'm gonna use one for the actual recipe and the other one for the garnish. Um, other than that, we already know about this. Salt-free crackers. No salty bitches at brunch or a party. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheat. I don't wanna leave dishes places, but I bought these bunt pans. Uh, sorry, um, pound cake pans. And I got a couple of cheap dishes that we're gonna, it'll be nice for display and everything. But anyhow, I'm gonna get cracking on that. It's gonna be nice. Little tip is that these should be room temperature before you start mixing, but that's about it. All right, so I have all four boxes in this bowl. Um, my original mixer suffered a terrible death. Um, somebody felt like they had to put that plant on the shelf, and in the placing of that plant, my mixer fell on the floor and shattered. So I'm gonna have to order a new bowl. But I have this nice anchor hocking one to replace it. But right now we're just creaming the four boxes of cheese. It looks about right. We're gonna turn this off. By the way, this is the Mixmaster Junior. It's the exact same model, same year. Just the Junior. Found it at Goodwill too back up I'm gonna add a whole um, bottle of Parmesan it is a 2.5 ounce bottle and um, a whole tablespoon of garlic salt it ended up being a tablespoon and a half because this is a double recipe remember that okay and we're just gonna blend everything. It's not as good as my beautiful full stand mixture, but you know what you gotta do with what you have at the moment. I priced it on eBay and the replacement bowl is about 30 bucks. So let's pray. I'm gonna finish mixing this. Alright, so we have all of that blended, it's cream, just nice and, you know, broken up and good. So now, we're going to get one bundle of the onion, since it's a double recipe, we're going to use one bundle. Let's see how much, I'm going to say, we're going to just do little slivers again, as thin as you can cut them, and then we're going to incorporate them with our nice little claw hand like we like to do. Get a little claw hand. It's my favorite thing in the world. We're gonna fold it in. You see that? Incorporating all of that nice goodness into there. <laughs> We're gonna put this to the side for now. We're gonna work on the on the top and the, the glaze now. And that is gonna be out of the strawberry preserves and the chipotle peppers. Um, we're pretty much just gonna incorporate them with each other. There we go. All right. 
So we're gonna get this bowl, bottle of, of preserves. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And then to that, we're gonna add this um, seven ounce can of chipotle. Remember how we open cans? But I believe that this is, this is pieces. No, these are whole chipotles. So we're gonna have to slice these up as we put them in. I love scissors for this. So just slice them into slivers as you put them in, as you incorporate them. There we go. And once you get all the whole chilies out, it's just kind of like mush. It's going to dump the whole thing in. And then, just mix it all up. Mix it all up. And believe it or not, um, chipotle and strawberry is a really, really, really good combination. Okay, so when you mix it like this, it breaks up all the bonds and the gelatin, and you want it to be thicker. See how that's running? Kind of want it to be thicker. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave and heat it up till it boils. And then that's when um, you pull it out, and we're going to do something else with it after that, okay? Okay, so I'm still mourning for my bowl. I am. It took me four years to find that damn thing. But the tapenade's heating up in the microwave. And this is one for the bowl. Ooh. So I got my saran wrap. The clear veil. Ay ay, very insanitary. I'm going to put that side down, I promise. So we're going to get the saran wrap and press it into the bunt pan as best as we can. Wrap it up. And then we're going to get the, this a nice spread and pack it into that bunt pan, little by little. Sure you watch out for the half mark. <gasps> the top of that's hot enough. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a test here. I'm gonna steal a little bit from one of these pans. Sorry, I'm cheating. Still a little bit. We have both pans laid out with half of the recipe each. And then we're gonna get some of the top and on. Drizzle it there. Still real liquidy. So we gotta be careful, but. Mmm. 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 That's wicked fucking good. Mmm. Let's just put the strawberries on. Still sweet. But you taste the smokiness and heat. And then the cheese has all of that good flavor from the parmesan and the onions. Mmm. Damn, people are gonna kill that shit at the party. <laughs> well, we're just waiting. We're waiting, waiting, waiting for the gelatin to cool. So, I shall have myself another quaff. One. <laughs> Probably about 20-25 minutes. It'll be cool enough to throw in. You'll see in a bit. We're gonna just layer it, pop it in the fridge. We're gonna have two ready-to-go hors d'oeuvres. Just throw crackers on the side. You're done. <laughs> it's been about a half hour, and the um, the jam it's thickened up. You couldn't even literally see it. It's not so runny. This we're gonna we're gonna pour over the mold. We're gonna pour over this. Make sure that all the saran wrap is up when you do this. We're just gonna pour a thick layer. Oh 
bro, some of that, we want to get some of that chipotle in there. So we're going to use the fork, even that out. So until later, until the great reveal, when it's all gelatinous and nice and set, you're going to see how pretty it's going to look. And we'll see you tomorrow for the party when we dress it and get it all ready for everybody. <laughs> all right, so it's time to go to the party. <laughs> it's a, a pajama party, by the way. <laughs> but it's chilled overnight. Still a little bit runny. Oh, well, but... It'll just drip on the side and look pretty. Let's cross our fingers. <laughs> but I bought this little tray so that I can take it and it'll look pretty. <laughs> Let's see how we do this. I'm just going to pull this up. So there it is, but it's not garnished yet, okay? So to garnish it, I am going to use those magic onions again. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to cut off all the dead ends. Yeah, it's like hair too. Okay, and we're just going to chop some just to put some color on the top. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a dusting of Parmesan. Look at that. That looks pretty. So we're going to put some Parmesan. Just to give it a little, make it look all okay. So there we go. That is pretty. I really hope everybody likes it. <laughs> I'm going to have to use a separate tray for the crackers, but oh well, you know, shit happens sometimes. Wasn't completely focused yesterday <laughs> but I'm ready <laughs>